Hi again, Fun with Crypto here. One of the more famous cryptographic algorithms is the Diffie-Hellman ephemeral key generation and key exchange. Let's get a gut feel for how this algorithm works. Previously, we asked the question, if the secret symmetric key of an AES encryption is sent from Alice to Bob by encrypting it in Bob's public key, and if the whole encrypted conversation between Alice and Bob is recorded, and if Bob's private key is compromised by some adversary at some later point in time, then the adversary can decrypt the entire message because the adversary can decrypt the keys. How can we prevent this? And the answer is perfect forward secrecy via the Diffie-Hellman ephemeral key generation and key exchange. The best way to visualize this is by using an analogy to the Diffie-Hellman ephemeral algorithm using buckets of paint instead of numbers. This analogy comes directly out of Wikipedia, as referenced here. Once again, Alice wants to communicate with Bob, and they need a way to do it over an untrusted network. Therefore, they need to come up with a common key for a symmetric cipher without an adversary figuring it out. Remember, this is a thought experiment. So instead of a common number, they each start with a common bucket of yellow paint, such that the two buckets are identical. Then they each separately choose a secret color, and they each independently mix their secret color with the common color. Then exchange blends over the untrusted network. Note that an observer can see the light orange and light blue blends, but there is no efficient algorithm for the observer to deduce the exact secret color that each added to the common bucket of yellow paint. That is, for example, there is no way to determine the exact number of molecules of red paint that Alice added to the yellow paint by looking at the orange paint. The final step is for each to mix their secret color to the other's blended color, with the result that they both end up with the exact same common color. Okay, hopefully that explained the concept. Now, let's try it again with real numbers, but numbers way smaller than would be used in practice, and it's important that you do not confuse the RSA math of the previous video with the math of this video. So here we go. Instead of deciding on a common paint color, Alice and Bob decide on a common number, referred to as G, and having a value of five in our example. In a minute, you will see that Alice and Bob will raise five to the power of their secret number. Alice and Bob also choose a common modulus, 23 in our example. All math will be done modulo 23, where the modulus is the remainder after dividing a number by 23. Then they each choose a secret number, where Alice chooses A equals 6 and Bob chooses B equals 15. Now they do their first set of math. Alice creates capital A by raising 5 to the 6th power to get 15,625 and takes the modulus 23 of that number to get 8, where 23 goes into 15,625 679 times with a remainder of 8. Similarly, Bob generates capital B by raising 5 to the 15th power, which is 30,517,578,125, and then takes the modulus 23 of that number to get 19. Then, Alice sends her blended number to Bob, and Bob sends his to Alice. Finally, each raises the blended number to the value of the secret key, ending up with a common number 2. This shows how to jointly arrive at a common number without one party encrypting a number with the other party's public key like we saw in a previous video using RSA PKCS 1.5 algorithm. This is important because if an adversary recorded the encrypted communication of the key exchange using the RSA algorithm and later determined the value of the private key, then the adversary could decrypt the whole conversation. However, this technique creates perfect forward secrecy because long-term private keys are not used and the temporary keys are never stored on disk. The common number is arrived at using a combination of random numbers generated by the two different parties created on the fly and discarded after being used for this session. Hopefully you now have a gut feel of how this very famous algorithm works and how much fun one can have with crypto.